Hey everyone, what's up? It is the Umbro Pro here, and welcome back to the HTML tutorials. Okay, in the last episode, we, uh, let me resize this a little bit here. Get back. Here we go. There we go, now we can see it's centered. Okay, in the last episode, we, uh, covered how to create a DIV. In this episode, I am going to be explaining the nav bar. So you're going to have, like, a navigation. First thing we're going to do, though, we are going to create a header. So we're going to type left arrow h1, right arrow, my website. This is where the title of your website will go, like uh, up here. You'll see it in a second. Now we're going to do second h1. For those uh, who do not know, I refer to the slash sign as second. So then underneath that, we're going to do h2. We don't have to do a br because it's designed that way. And then my subtitle second h2 go ahead and save that and refresh it here and there you go see there's your header we're going to be adjusting that later on in the future but not right now next we're going to do left arrow div id equals nav so that's what we're going to do we're going to do div id equals nav and underneath that we're just going to type second div to get rid of that div save it fresh it's not going to do anything so now we're going to customize the nav how we're going to do this is really simple okay so now what we're going to be doing is underneath this we're going to type number and then we're going to do nav so number sign nav this stands for an id the period stands for a class and then the regulars just stand for whatever you want to put So, we're going to do the brackets. We're going to open and close the brackets. And now, we are going to do width 100%. <laughs> that definitely wasn't it. And height would be... Hmm. Let's just do 32 pixels. Let's make it 32 pixels in height by default. It's going to be pretty tall, but yeah. Now, the background. I'm going to do number BBB. So, we're going to try that out. Padding six pixels now something I want to explain if you just do that you'll see that it kinda kinda gets pushed to the right here the and it's not all the way it's not all the way to the left here because of our previous padding which is five pixels best way to fix that is you well, well let's go ahead and change this back to five padding is five pixels but it still gets pushed to the right best way to fix that would be to do margin dash left and then you would do negative five pixels whatever the padding is and there you go. Now it's aligned perfectly with uh, the DIV container, which already has its own padding. Another way to go around that would be to create a uh, padding class or a padding ID, and then give that the, um, you just have multiple DIVs. So the mid container would have no padding, where and your content would go into a padded DIV. But I'm not going to do it that way. All right, so now we have our little navigation thing here. Now we want to add some content to it. Let's save that again. And we are going to add left arrow UL, right arrow. And then we're going to space that out. With, oops, we should space that one out too. And this should also be spaced out. There, doesn't it look better? Yes. Okay, I need to find... Uh, there it is. Alright. Now we're going to do left arrow LI AHREF equals quotes. I'm going to use mini quotes, so, or single quotes. Index.html, right arrow, then we're going to type home, then left arrow, second A, right arrow. And then we're going to do second LI. And we're just going to end off the UL really quick by doing second UL underneath that. There you go. Save it. And you're going to see it has like this weird little dot thing next to it. Well, we're going to copy and paste the LI a couple of times. So, three, four, five, let's just about five. And you can replace these if you want to, but um, I'll explain all that here, in a, here shortly. Basically, what this is, is where it links to. So, if you click it, it's going to go, it's going to take you to the file index.html. Basically, the home page. Home about uh, contact downloads. Uh, hold on, videos and images, yeah. 
Now, if we save that, you'll see that it kind of really goes, like, out of the container, right? So, basically, the easiest way to fix that would be to change how it works. So, we are going to do number sign nav ul. And then, we are going to do the opening and closing brackets. And now, what we're going to do is we are going to type list style type none. Then, we're going to do padding 0px. Then, we're going to do margin 0px. So we're going to save that, and watch what it does to this. So it kind of aligns it now. It makes it um, better, like different, a little bit different. Yeah. So now we're going to do number sign nav li, like that. Remember, make sure you do have spaces. Uh, now we're going to do float left. Display inline. We're going to close that. Now you can see that they kind of go horizontal. So now we're going to stylize how they look. So what we're going to do here is number sign nav a link a colon link. Let me zoom in here so you can see that. Number sign nav a colon link. And then we're going to do a comma number sign nav a visited like like so. And then we're going to open and close brackets. Dagnabbit. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Now we're going to stylize this. So we're going to say padding, 12 pixels. Let's get a 12 pixel padding. Background, let's do black. Color, white. Text, dash, decoration, none. Save that and I'll show you how that looks slightly. And there you go. You have that kind of thing. But you'll notice that it's a little off. So we just got to change uh, the padding here. Let's change it to 5 pixels. You'll see it is kind of up there as well. Hmm. So how do we fix that? Well, we could. What we could do is just give it a slight margin. But what I, I'm going to do something a lot easier. <laughs> just remove height from the number sign nav. That was mostly so we can kind of get it um, lined, like, just get a good idea of how it would look. So you're going to run into this issue. It's, a, it's really, really simple to fix this. To fix this issue, if you're running to this... If you're running into this on any DIV container of a sort, all you have to do is make sure you have overflow hidden on the uh, on the parent. So this is in the nav, so we need to have the nav say overflow hidden. Save that and refresh, and it lines it up perfectly. So that's how you do that, in case you're uh, wondering. Now then, um, if we, what should we do to stylize? I'm thinking to make it look a little bit better. Hmm. You could say the width equals whatever this is divided by five, but uh, that's that's if you have it like you can have it like uh, all perfectly aligned with it, but that wouldn't make sense. I'm trying to think of something really kind of all right, like looking. Okay, we could try border radius five pixels, but that would just kind of give it round edges. Yeah, let's go with that. Actually, let's just go with regular borders. I think that would go good too. So we're gonna do border. Solid, one pixel, number sign, oops, FFF. It looks kind of good. If you want to kind of give it the illusion of being spaced out, you could do, instead of just using a border, another thing you could do is border right, solid, five pixels, and then the same background, the same color as the background, and then it would give it the illusion of being spaced out. That's one thing you could do if you wanted to, but I'm just going to stick with the uh, original white border. Alright, so now we're going to give it a hover effect. Na number sign nav a hover, comma, number sign nav a active. Hover is when you hover over it, active is when you click it. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we are going to... What color should we have the background, actually? I'm trying. Okay, background number 333 three, three. that's all you have to do now when you hover over it you see that it kind of lights up all right so there's our navigation link that's pretty much how you make the nav so i thank you guys so very much for watching and in the next episode we will be covering sidebars and the main content all right so i'll see you guys later thank you all so very much for watching